Kroon Hounda. Good afternoon, everybody. This is this week's podium car, the Anis RE7B Super Class. I'm going to give it a bit of an upgrade and then I'm going to take it out for a spin to show you how it does. Exhaust? Why the hell is the exhaust? <laughs> There's no point in upgrading the exhaust. Save yourself 750 euros. Spoiler alert, the alternate is rubbish. Suspension, yeah, lower it. So we're just going to do the old engine, the turbos. Speed things up a bit. Transmission, there we go. Drop a like on that transmission. Or a subscribe. Bulletproof tyres, do not forget the bulletproof tyres because your friends will shoot them out. Windows, we don't need windows. Where we're, we're going, we don't need windows. But livery, well, let's have a look. I mean, you've got two options, and they're both not as good, in my opinion, than having a plain colour. Um, but we're going to stick with what we got, because that's what we got from the casino, because we won it today by doing the four second trick. Check out my video for that. Stunt jumps, so there we go. We A short run up, and the Anis took the stunt jump in its pace. Uh, it's good engine noise. It sounds like a tuned engine. Very nice. Not not ideal for those who enjoy grumbly engines, but it sounds like a futuristic car. On the drive over to the airport, the handling is excellent because it's got very heavily grippy tyres. It's very hard to spin out this car. Taking the corner here. I mean, look at the speed around the corner. You've got 100 miles an hour. Now, that is a good car. In my opinion, the horn works as well. So, airports are quite boring, so let's take it on a proper speed run in a realistic scenario, shall we? Um, I'm going to take it for a race against another car, which is the Benefactor Krieger. It's night time, uh, the Krieger is in the top right, as you can see, and it's kicking up its heels quite nicely, um, um, kicking uh, into the Anis's lower area because it's beating it by quite a portion. But both cars took a bit of a tumble at the end and smashed into the wall and did not complete the stunt jump I was aiming for. But that's driver error. So yeah, it's not as fast as some cars, uh, but it's a good car. It's a good car. If you like to have a, a, a grippy rather than a slippy car, then uh, this is the car to go for. Um, but you are sacrificing some speed in favour of that. And I prefer, to be quite honest, the Krieger. It's just more fun, and it doesn't stick to the road as well, but that's part of its appeal. Um, but if you're in a situation where you don't have any of these cars, then certainly, at the very least, take a spin on the wheel every day to try and win this one. Um, look at my previous video of the weekly update where you will see the old trick you can perform to win the podium car. And you may like what you've seen enough to spend some Euro millions on this car. If so, drop a like and subscribe. And good luck out there on the podium wheel. I'll see you in the next one.